हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल मॉर्निंग एंड सो आई थॉट व्हाई नॉट मेक अ वीडियो अबाउट दो स्कूल फोटोग्राफ्स व्हिच वी हैव ऑलवेज वंडर्ड हाउ वर दे इवन शॉट यू वुड हैव ऑफन एंड देयर इज अ बुलबुल अराउंड हियर सो यू वुड हैव ऑफन थॉट हाउ दोस पिक्स आर एक्चुअली क्लिकड वेयर हाफ ऑफ द पोर्शन इज अंडर वाटर एंड अबव रिमेनिंग ऑफ द हाफ इज अबव वाटर लाइक योर फेमस इंस्टाग्राम मॉडल्स आर सबमर्ज्ड हाफ इनसाइड एंड हाउ कम द स्काई इज विजिबल you would think that you can place your camera in such a way that half of the lens is covered with water and remaining half above water right and most of those shots are with gopro sensor is very small the lens is very small and it's impossible and so that's the reason they use this product which is a gopro underwater dome now what is this product what does it does the concept is same half of the video under water remaining half of the video above water so let me show you in more detail what this product actually does and it's amazing what it does but wait guys before you do go any further please subscribe the channel because it helps me a lot to motivate me to keep creating those content and keep coming up with new ideas so please subscribe i have already created a separate video which you can see the link above or in the description go ahead watch that to see how this whole setup performs while you are doing snorkeling so pause this video for a second go ahead watch that complete video to get the full feel of how this whole setup performs and then come back and watch the later if you want or you can watch that later link is in the description so, okay guys so let me show you the box it comes in a very compact box and the concept is very simple half of the photo is inside the water submerged and the remaining is the clouds you can see above the water so that is whole this casing is meant for and it looks amazing and when you put in all the parts together this is how it looks now let me show you the contents of the box it has a soft thermocool finish casing which you can carry separately i won't because it adds quite a lot of bulk and then there are documents and lanyard which again i will not use and finally this dome fits in quite a snug Now this is a three part casing and it comes with this soft velvet cover so that you can avoid all those scratches when you are storing it or transporting it because we all know it's made out of fiber not actually a glass which is prone to scratches and smudges. Now the operation is fairly simple. This whole back panel has gaskets which provide quite a tight seal and then in order to open you have to pull this string. Here you can see those rubber gaskets, and then this is very important. These moisture-absorbing strips make sure that no moisture gets deposited in the lens or inside the dome because we all know moisture is always present, and when it gets deposited, it looks bad. So you keep one or two strips, and when you are out of strips, you can buy them separately. Now, in order to use GoPro, it's very simple. Put it carefully, place the panel. and close close this latch that's it here you can see the front element now it in terms of operation it has two buttons one on and off button which you can use to switch between modes or even on and off the gopro and the other is recording button and it works every time let me show you here it works without a fail same goes for the recording button and the concept is fairly simple you submerge half of this dome inside the water and the remaining half remains above the water so you get that cool split footage or even photos and how it works is that it pushes the water a bit back so that the wide field of view gopro gets enough space to actually split the footage into two parts now if you are using this and you see the moisture here don't be scared because the actual ceiling starts from around that yellow gasket the next part is this handle which comes in very handy <laughs> it serves dual purpose first of all you can see these rubber gaskets which prevents any water coming inside and so you can use this handle with this whole contraption or you can use this separately as a floaty so the gopro doesn't sinks inside 
I have not tested it, but I'm sure it will work because that's the purpose of it. And then finally, this is the main mechanical part which will make sure that it becomes a single hand operated device. So you have to fix it at the bottom, pull this lever a bit back and then place the top tip above the button. I know it sounds confusing, but let me pull it together and then show you back. So here it is. I have tightened the screw, it's just one screw. So you can see and now the yellow tip you can see is just above the button. So you pull this trigger back and it starts or stops recording. Let me pull this handle also and then show you completely. Here it is, the whole contraption. And as you can see, it's fairly easy to use. You just hold this handle like a gun and then pull back this lever. As simple as that. The main thing is the top tip should always be above that button so that it registers the press when you pull back the trigger. So you can see, I will start recording and this red light will start blinking. Here we go. It works. Let me stop that. I should have stopped it. Worked again. Let me show you the motion. So this part was very important. Why? Because now it becomes a single hand operation. You don't have to use your second hand to start and stop recording. And you can focus in your diving. Now it takes fairly 2-3 minutes to set up so one tip is that don't remove this top velvet cover until you have put everything in place because any sand particles, dust particles, they can scratch this fairly easy. Another very important, very very important tip after you are done with your diving in the sea, always clean it with the fresh water. Maybe packaged drinking water because those salt gets deposited, those sand particles, they will scratch it very easily and you will not even notice because it's wet at the moment you keep it. So before you keep it, clean it with the fresh water and dry it. Now let me show you some of the samples. Okay guys, so that's all I had for today's video. I hope you find something good about this video and you got some more information, something new that you learned today. And I have just tried this tome at one instance when I was in my Thailand visit in my trip. I wish to use it more, but with this lockdown situation, we are all still waiting. But it's a wonderful product. It works when it works and it works great. Pics are amazing, videos are amazing with the limitations of being that sometimes it's prone to a little more of a scratches or when it's submerged inside the water and it comes up a little more of those water uh, droplets stay on the surface but even with those this product is amazing and the videos coming out of this are no short of some breathtaking even the photos 
Now with that in mind, let's wrap this video and tag me on Instagram if you are using this GoPro Tome or if you have any questions, just link them down in the comment section and I will be happy to answer them. And guys, before I leave, please subscribe because if you subscribe, if you like and share, I get motivation to bring even more quality content to you. And so, see you soon. See you again. Stay safe. Bye.